China, with its vast and diverse culinary heritage, offers a gastronomic journey that goes beyond the familiar dim sum and Peking duck. For the adventurous eater, China presents an array of unconventional and exotic dishes that challenge the palate and redefine the concept of food. Deep Fried Spiders Fried spider is a regional snack in Cambodia. In the Cambodian town of Skewen, Chung Pre, Kampong Cham, the vending of fried spiders as a specialty snack is a popular attraction for tourists. The spiders are bred in holes in the ground in villages north of Skewen, or foraged for in nearby forestland and fried in oil. It is not clear how this practice started, but some have suggested that the population might have started eating spiders out of desperation during the years of Khmer Rouge rule, when food was in short supply. The taste has been described as bland, rather like a cross between chicken and cod, with a contrast in texture from a crispy exterior to a soft center. The legs contain little flesh, while the head and body have a delicate white meat inside. The abdomen is often not consumed, however, as it contains a brown paste consisting of organs, possibly eggs, and excrement. Some people call it a delicacy, while others recommend not eating it. Sea Cucumbers In China, sea cucumbers have been highly prized for centuries for their nutritional value and texture, if not their flavor. They are believed to have medicinal properties, treating ailments from arthritis to impotency. In their wild state, though, they have become a rarity, even on Guanglu Island off the Liaodong Peninsula, which is famous for them. In a few decades, demand has all but depleted the natural stocks of the local species. In Chinese literature, the earliest documentation on the cooking of sea cucumbers was in the Ming and Qing dynasties. Before transformed into a deluxe food ingredient, a freshly caught sea cucumber needs to be gutted and dried. Dried sea cucumbers need to be rehydrated before cooking. Century Eggs Century Egg also known as preserved egg or thousand-year egg, is a Chinese delicacy that has been enjoyed for centuries. It may look quite weird and uncommon from regular healthy food. You may wonder what does a century egg taste like? In fact, there are two popular types of preserved eggs in China including salted egg and this century egg. On the surface of the century egg, there are beautiful crystallizations of amino acid salt, similar to pine flowers, on the surface of the eggs. So those eggs are also called pine flower eggs. In terms of taste, the white part and the yolk part are quite different from each other. The creamy yolk is considered the star of a properly century egg. Its texture transforms from liquidy and runny before curing to a rich, thick, custard-like consistency. In contrast to the opulent yolk, the egg white transforms into a gray-black or golden-yellow translucent jelly-like solid with a bouncy texture. The taste of the egg white can form a lovely comparison with the creamy egg yolk. Chinese people share health concerns about century eggs too. Fried centipedes Eating insects and centipedes is a long-standing tradition in Lijiang City, located in Yunnan Province, China. While they are high in protein and considered delicious by locals, their appearance can be off-putting to those who are not accustomed to the local culture. The venom of centipedes is known to be unique in the animal kingdom. It is composed of a cocktail of toxins that simultaneously disrupt the victim's cardiovascular, respiratory, muscular, and nervous systems. The centipedes are usually harvested during the summer months and early fall in the surrounding forests when they are most active. First, live centipedes are submerged in boiling water for several minutes. This process helps to kill the centipedes and loosen their exoskeletons, making them easier to handle. Next. The centipedes are removed from the boiling water and allowed to cool. Once they are cool enough to handle, their exoskeletons are carefully removed and their venom glands are manually extracted. Finally, the centipedes are cooked using traditional methods such as stir-frying with garlic, ginger, and other spices until they become crispy. Shark Fin Soup Shark Fin Soup is one of the most controversial dishes in Chinese cuisine with protesters lobbying for a ban on the harvesting of shark fins. Fans of the soup say that such bans unfairly target Chinese populations. Shark fin dates back to the Song Dynasty, one of Imperial China's most prosperous dynasties, regarded as a golden age in Chinese history. Shark fin soup was a status symbol for wealthy and powerful Chinese, who would consider a family who couldn't afford to serve shark fin soup at the wedding banquet a family not worth marrying their daughter into. The soup itself is made from chicken or pork broth, 
and the shark fin has no actual flavor. The fin, which is made of cartilage, adds a certain texture to the soup, a hard-to-describe mixture of both crunchy and gelatinous and is essential to the essence of the soup. In traditional Chinese medicine the shark fin is said to have special properties in improving the qi, the essential life force of a person. Bats and Bamboo Rats Bats and bamboo rats are consumed in various regions of China, though their culinary use is more localized and less widespread compared to more common meats like pork, chicken, and beef. Consumption of bats is more common in southern China, particularly in Guangdong and Guangxi provinces. Bats are typically prepared in soups or stews. They are believed to have medicinal properties and are sometimes used in traditional medicine. The meat is described as having a gamey flavor, somewhat similar to that of wild fowl. The texture can vary depending on the species and preparation method. Consumption of bats has raised health concerns, particularly due to their potential to carry diseases, including viruses that can be transmitted to humans, zoonoses. This concern has been highlighted by outbreaks of diseases such as SARS and COVID-19, which are believed to have links to wildlife trade and consumption. Bamboo rats can be roasted, braised, or used in soups and stews. They are often cooked with various spices and herbs to enhance their flavor. The meat of bamboo rats is tender and is often compared to that of rabbit or chicken. Both bats and bamboo rats are sometimes consumed for their purported health benefits in traditional Chinese medicine, seahorse. Their ethereal beauty and unique characteristics have left us pondering an intriguing question. Can you eat seahorses? They have a distinctive upright posture, horse-like heads, and an ability to grasp onto objects with their curly tails. This physique is part of their charm and plays a role in our exploration of their culinary potential. While technically it's safe to eat seahorses, the real question is, should you? In some parts of the world, particularly in select Asian countries, seahorses have been on the menu for centuries. They're often considered a delicacy and people believe that they have medicinal properties. However, it's crucial to consider the ethical and environmental implications before indulging in this culinary experience. Those who have indulged in seahorse cuisine describe the taste as subtly sweet, with a hint of seafood umami, silkworms and scorpions. During ancient Chinese times, silkworms began to be cultivated for their silk. Silk was highly prized in ancient China. Only the royal family and noble classes were permitted to wear it. After being removed from their cocoons, silkworms can be eaten. In northern parts of China, they are roasted as a street snack or cooked in saute sauce and served with rice. Deep-fried scorpion is a Chinese dish made with, you guessed it, a deep-fried whole scorpion, typically served as a street food or snack. The scorpions used are usually harvested from the wild and are considered a delicacy in some regions of China. The dish is often served as a crispy snack and is sometimes accompanied by dipping sauces or seasonings to enhance the flavor. The history of the deep-fried scorpion is unclear, but it is believed to have originated in some parts of rural China as a way to use up surplus scorpions that were harvested for their medicinal properties. Over time, it evolved into a popular street food and snack, especially in northern and western China. The dish is often seen as a symbol of bravery and adventurousness, as many people are hesitant to try it due to its exotic and intimidating appearance. Bird's Nest Soup Bird's Nest Soup is one of the most famous, but also most controversial dishes in Chinese cuisine. Many people are willing to spend small fortunes on this soup as they believe eating it will help them maintain their youth as well as have a long healthy life and a strong body. Whereas many dishes with interesting names are so-called because of their appearance, like bird's nest cookies made with chow mein noodles and melted chocolate, bird's nest soup is a literal recipe title, the soup is made from a real bird's nest. But if you are thinking of the charming structures made by bluebirds consisting of sticks and straw, think again. The bird's nests used for this soup are not simply found in trees, abandoned by their owners. These edible bird's nests belong to the swiftlet, a small bird usually found in Southeast Asia. The swiftlet lives in dark caves and, similar to bats, use echolocation to move around. Instead of twigs and straw, however, the swiftlet makes its nest from strands of its own gummy saliva, which is produced by the glands under the tongue. The nest then hardens when exposed to air. The structure is quite impressive, a tightly woven hammock-like formation made of strong threads that can be white, yellow, or red. 
The nest is secured to the rock wall in the cave, and therefore can be challenging to remove. Some of the processes of harvesting nests are extremely dangerous. The nests are usually located at the top of caves, and the nest collector has to use a very narrow, shaky, and long wooden ladder which they climb on top of to reach the nests. Because this is so dangerous, many nest collectors have lost their lives. Stinky Tofu Stinky Tofu is a special snack with Chinese characteristics, the cooking method and edible method of which differs between different regions, for an instance, North China is different from South China. In South China, for stinky tofu, different regions have different cooking method and edible method, and the taste is also different with the same characteristic, smells bad but tasty. The strong-smelling preserved soybean curd of Changsha is very famous. Stinky tofu is rich with plant original lactobacillus which has a good manipulating effect to intestine tract. The product color is yellow, tender with a crisp crust, and fresh and spicy taste. The traditional method of producing stinky tofu is to prepare a brine made from fermented milk, vegetables, and meat. The brine can also include dried shrimp, amaranth greens, mustard greens, bamboo shoots, and Chinese herbs. The brine fermentation can take as long as several months. The sulfur amino acids contained in the tofu are also fully hydrolyzed, resulting in a type of hydrogen sulfide which gives the tofu its pungent odor. After the protein breaks down, amino acids are produced creating a delicious taste. But if you do not eat it for a while, the taste will become strange and you will have to become accustomed to it again. And that wraps up our fascinating journey into the world of Chinese weird foods. From the adventurous flavors of bats and bamboo rats to the unique textures of sea cucumbers, we've explored some truly remarkable culinary traditions that highlight the rich diversity of Chinese cuisine. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.